Hey everybody, how's it going? Maple Dude here. Today we're gonna check out three new products offered by Smoky Lake. The Smoky Lake Gold Series Hydrometer, the Smoky Lake Murphy Compensation Cup, and the Murphy Compensation Float. Are they really necessary or are they just a little twist and a gimmick on maple syrup density measure? Hey everybody, just wanted to say one thing. While you're watching this video, you might hear some banging, sawing, or various loud construction sounds. That's because the Maple Dude World Headquarters is expanding. That's exciting news. All three of these products are made by Smoky Lake Maple Products, which is a Wisconsin company. They're made right here in the USA, which is great. The correct density is at 66 to 66.9 bricks. And the reason why that's important, guys, is because Below 66 bricks, it's gonna to be too thin. And what can happen then is it can actually spoil or go sour on you. Above 66.9 bricks or a little bit too thick, it can actually crystallize on you and that will form in the bottom of your container and that's very unattractive. And besides that, you're actually giving maple syrup away if you're going too thick. Um, you're giving away too much sugar. So that's important when you wanna look at your profitability. All right, first up, we've got the Smoky Lake Gold Series Hydrometer. And I will take that out of the tube that it came in. And right off the bat, I can tell that it's different from the, your other old standard hydrometers in that the scale on here is much more legible. It's much easier to read. And I really like that. Um, some of the things that come with it are a chart for use of the hydrometer. If you're a hobbyist, you probably don't even know how to use one yet, possibly. And with the other hydrometers that I've seen, they don't even come with that. They don't even come with instructions. It has a red line uh, in the glass that shows where the paper uh, chart in here should be. Because if that piece of paper in there moves, the whole uh, syrup test is going to be off. So that's a pretty nice aspect. The ballast or the weight in the bottom of the hydrometer is food grade. So you know you're dealing with safe materials because you are making a high quality food product. And you definitely want to be on top of that because this is a product that many of you are gonna be selling to the public. You can do the job with the Gold Series hydrometer, but the Murphy Compensation Cup, the Murphy Compensation Float, the claims are that it's going to make the entire process of getting your maple syrup to the correct density much, much easier. First off, my impressions on the Murphy Compensation Cup is it's pretty high quality, beautiful stainless steel. It's nice and heavy. You can do bicep curls while you're doing your maple syrup check so you can kill two birds with one stone. Um, it's uh, got the Murphy dial right on there. All right, so another variation on the Murphy Compensation Cup is the Murphy Compensation Float. The function of it is exactly the same. It's just a different design. It's actually made to float in your pan of maple syrup. And you just put your hydrometer right next to it. And again, the goal, just match the two numbers. The dial on the cup or the float is going to be your static reading. You need to adjust the reading on the hydrometer. I'm excited to use these products and put them to the Maple Dew test. Okay guys, we've got the old standard hydrometer here. I'm gonna check our density. So we drop that into the maple syrup. Um, so you can see right away here, it's bouncing up and down a little bit. You gotta let it settle. It might spin a little bit. So you've gotta take a look. And I kind of find that a little bit annoying because you've gotta like move around, check it out. Because right now where I'm at, I can't even see the numbers on the hydrometer. You gotta get a chart involved next because you have to compensate for the temperature of the maple syrup that you are measuring. So right now, if I take a look at my height thermometer, I'm about 190, just a little bit above. So on my chart, I've got a reading of 193. So even right there, it's not exact, but I'm, I'm kind of close. And remember, accuracy is important because we're dealing with a food product here and your maple syrup is supposed to be 66 to 66.9 bricks. So now I'm gonna use Smoky Lake's Gold Series Hydrometer. This is a new hydrometer that they came out with and uh, we're gonna see how that works. So I'm gonna gently drop it in the maple syrup. Um, right away, my first reaction when I look at it is the fact that it's much easier to read. I can see the numbers on there. I can see the lines a lot better. 
So now we're going to use the Murphy compensation cup. All we got to do to do that is we take our maple syrup, pour it into the cup, then we put in our Gold Series hydrometer, and then we just take a look at the reading on the dial. Now what that dial did for us, essentially it takes your thermometers, it takes your compensation chart, puts it all into one, and it's interpreted here on the dial for you. So it completely streamlines the process. And then you just adjust your syrup and to meet the dial reading by looking at your hydrometer. So if you're too thick, you add distilled water. If you're too thin, you boil, and you just make the two readings match, and that's it. No more charts, no more looking at thermometers. All right, so another variation on the Murphy Compensation Cup is the Murphy Compensation Float. The function of it is exactly the same. It's just a different design. It's actually made to float in your pan of maple syrup. Rather than pouring liquid, the maple syrup, into the cup, you just float it in your entire pan, and then you can get your reading that way. And this uh, Murphy Compensation Cup and Float Instruction Guide comes with it. And right off the bat, I'll tell you I was impressed with this because I've been around maple syrup equipment for a while, and you don't really get very good instructions with them. And it's got all your instructions in there, certificate of authenticity. So I thought that was pretty cool, honestly. This really stood out. Here's the standard maple syrup hydrometer, and here's the Smoky Lake Gold Series syrup hydrometer. Which one did I prefer? I definitely choose the Smoky Lake Gold Series hydrometer, and there's a couple reasons behind that. First of all, it's really super easy to read. I like the scale on here, it's larger. So I don't have to squint and I don't have to get right up there at it. It's pretty easy to read. Secondly, I like the red line that is uh, right in the glass that shows that your uh, piece of paper in here, your, your uh, chart hasn't shifted. Thirdly, it has food grade alloy as the ballast in it. Now. I'm not saying that this doesn't have food grade alley, but we don't know. Uh, fourth, I like the fact that it's made in the good old USA. This one is made in France. How much maple syrup are they making in France anyway? In regards to the Murphy Compensation Float and the Murphy Compensation Cup, I was skeptical, honestly, in regards to the necessity of these two items. I'm the maple dude. I'm a master at my craft, so I did not really think they would be that useful. I think I had it all figured out already. And while I was doing a good job, I can see where these two products make the job of measuring the bricks, the density of your maple syrup, much, much easier. Say goodbye to confusing and convoluted compensation charts. So I really, really recommend this for the hobbyist and even up to the experienced syrup maker. I mean, I'm going to put this in my arsenal of maple syrup weapons. So how do you purchase any of these three awesome items? Just go to themapledude.com and you go to the Maple Supplies tab and you can follow that right through to your purchase or click the link in the description below. All right guys, that's all I got today. I hope you enjoyed this video and its mind-blowing content. Please like and subscribe and remember, always keep it real.